Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks and Wargaming. Released something very exciting on the World of Tanks homepage yesterday. Confirmation that there is going to be a Mediterranean invasion. That's right, we are going to be seeing Italian tanks coming to the game this year. And details we can take from Wargaming's video on the matter is that there's going to be a whole new Italian tech tree. It's not just going to be one premium tank, although the premium vehicle will be coming first. And if we pause the video in the middle, spoilers, we can actually see some of the tanks that will be starting the tech tree. And it looks to me that the tier 1 vehicle that we can see here is clearly going to be the Fiat 3000. And let me know in the comments if you can identify any of the other theoretical Italian tanks that will be coming to the tech tree soon. Now as Wargaming love to do, the first vehicle that is released of any new nation is undoubtedly a premium tank, but for the Italians it's going to be a little bit different. Usually we either get tier 5 premiums, sometimes with the Czechoslovakians we got a tier 6 premium and the Swedish. Now it's bumping up to a tier 8 premium. And while the name of this vehicle is still to be decided, it looks like it's going to be called the Progetto M35 Mod 46 or the Progetto 46. And Wargaming go on to state that the highlight of this vehicle is it's going to have a unique gameplay mechanic, which will be the same as the other top tier Italian tanks that will be coming with the full tech tree. And that is that this vehicle is going to have an auto reloader. It's kind of a hybrid between a single shot tank that most of the vehicles are in the game and also the auto loading tanks. And so effectively what this means is that the Progetto 46 is going to have, to all intents and purposes, auto loading capacity. And inside the video we see that it's got a two and a half second delay between its shells and each shell hits for roughly about 240. 40 damage. But what's special about the auto reloader is that as we can see you load each of the shells into the drum of the tank individually. Whereas a traditional auto loader would have to fire off all of its shells and then spend a set amount of time reloading. So next many of you might be thinking well surely isn't that just a better auto loader i.e. one that puts in the shells one by one and then you can fire them off when they're in there. Well yeah that is the case but there's one key balancing mechanic and that is the less shells you have in the magazine the longer it will take to reload each shell. And while everything is development from the video that Wargaming showed, it looks like the Progetto 46 is going to have a 3 round 90mm autoloader. And if you fire off a single shell, then it will take 8 seconds to put another shell back into the magazine. However, let's say you bounce the first kill shot, or maybe you've got to kill two tanks and you're only left with one in the magazine. Well then it's going to be slower and it's going to take 11 seconds to put the second shell back in. And then if you want to wait to put your third shell back in, that's going to do it in eight seconds. On the other hand, let's say that you're fighting for your life and you absolutely utterly have to get out all three rounds in quick succession. Well then the first one is going to take 14 seconds to reload and then I guess if you fire that off again then you're going to have to spend another 14 seconds to reload. And so while this capacity makes the auto reloading Italian tanks very flexible, even if they're just firing off single shots and especially so if they don't have excess rounds in their magazine, they're going to be far less effective than stereotypical tanks that load in the regular way and only can fire off one shell at a time. And on the other hand, if you try and play this vehicle like it's a standard autoloader, sure you can burst off those rounds but then you're going to have a very long reload time, far longer than it would be if you were playing an autoloader that reloads every single round all at the same time. Remember the Italian tanks are only reloading one shell, which progressively gets longer and longer with the fewer shells that you have left in the magazine. But for me personally this sounds like a dream, you're going to have to make the conscious conscientious decision of should I just wait to be able to reload a little bit faster and play the tank like a single shot vehicle or should I waste all of the shells in my magazine, well not waste them, hopefully penetrate them, but then have to spend substantially longer to be able to get back to combat capacity. And there's no doubt that these auto reloading Italian tanks will reward a player who is in control of the situation and can predict what rounds he needs to do now. Just because he has the opportunity to obliterate the tank in front of him, does that mean that he's going to lower his DPM to the point where he can't deal with the other tank that'll be coming after him later on? This novel gameplay mechanic will undoubtedly increase the skill cap of the auto-reloading Italian tanks. And so if you're an experienced player, it's looking like these auto-reloading Italian medium tanks might be the kind of vehicles for you, especially if you're the kind of player who gets immensely frustrated if, say, you bounce the first shot and then you 
you don't want to commit and then you have to spend 30 seconds reloading. Well, in these kind of tanks, if you if you bounce the first shot, then you don't have to commit to firing all the rest of them, and then you have like a, a slower amount of time to get your magazine back up to full capacity and then wait for the opportunity to engage. Or alternatively, how frustrating is it if you low roll the last shot and then have to spend 30 seconds reloading when your opponent is on 10 hit points? Well, that's not going to be the case with these tanks. You're not going to be sitting there for as long to be able to put an extra shell in. But I hasten to remind you that as I clarified earlier, if you want to play this tank as an all-in autoloader and don't make use of the single shot capacity of the vehicle, you're kind of going to be worse than a standard autoloader. But then again, if you don't make use of the auto-reloading capabilities of the vehicle, then you're going to be worse than a, a standard tank, like a, a Primo Victoria, for example. And so I was absolutely thrilled to see this kind of sneak peek into a future Italian tank tree. You know me, I'm a content junkie, and I can't wait to get my hands on these Italian tanks. And the fact that they're going to have a unique gameplay mechanic with the the auto reloader just builds the hype for me even more. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. But if you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments what you think about the Progetto 46, the Italian tech tree, and this new auto reloader. And also, if you want to see Wargaming's full video, you can find it on their YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been Epic, and hopefully I'll see you soon.